What up, everybody? Welcome back to iRacing. And today is going to be a uh, just a broadcast view of some highlights from the Midwest Motorsports race that we ran well, at the time I'm recording this just a couple of hours ago. Uh, but by the time you guys see this, we'll, it will be uh, last night. And uh, we started in uh, 22nd place, I believe it was. Um, and I ended up finishing in 23rd, but we, we had some great battles for position all night. Um, and so like I said, I wanted to kind of show some highlights here and, um, just kind of let you guys watch this. I'm going to be uh, muting up my mic here in a moment and just letting you, uh, watch this. Um, there will be, uh, several different laps that we will be cutting to, but for, uh, the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and let this play because, uh, the battles started right at the beginning. Um, but yeah, so I will, uh, check back with you guys here in just a little bit.
All right, guys. So real quick, uh, a couple things that I did want to mention, uh, things that I had <clears throat> forgotten to mention at the start of the video. Uh, first of all, this race was an hour and 40 minutes in length. And uh, to this point, we are we, we haven't cut anything. And you can see what kind of a battle it has been. We've been pretty much nose to tail this entire time. Other thing I wanted to mention is that if you do find yourself enjoying this, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would also consider subscribing to the channel. Both those things do help me out. Let me know you guys want to see more of this kind of content. Also helps the YouTube algorithm. And I'm going to go ahead and mute up my mic again. Uh, I think we're getting close to... <clears throat> I think we're getting close to the first pit stops. And so there will be a little bit of a lull um, as the pit stop cycle. Um, so I, when that happens, I will be cutting that out, uh, but then bringing you guys back when the battle resumes. And uh, the battle will definitely be resuming after the pit stops. Um, no spoilers, but uh, after the pit stops is going to be, in my opinion, the best battle. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and remute my mic and let you guys continue watching. All right, guys. Well, the pit stop or the first pit stop has just about cycled through. We've advanced a few laps. And like I said, pit stops are just about done cycling on the first round. And the battle is about to pick back up. And like I was promising earlier, uh, <clears throat> it is about to get very interesting and very entertaining. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute up once again, uh, but I hope you guys do enjoy this battle here with the, uh, the, uh, seven car as this is going to be going on for a few minutes and, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys here in, in just a few more minutes.
All right, guys. So how about that for a battle? Um, I know net wise, we didn't gain anything, but that was quite entertaining the way that we were crossing each other over and passing each other. Um, so at this point, the battle kind of simmers a bit um, with the faster cars catching and passing us. And you can see here that I I'm getting flashed to be, be told that he's going to pass me and I had already intended on letting him by. Um, but anyways, with, with the uh, faster cars getting in here, uh, the battle kind of simmers down just a little bit. Um, but yeah, it, I ended up absolutely torching my front tires, especially my left front on this pit run or fuel run. Uh, so I ended up having to take tires on the next pit stop, um, which ended up costing me positions because most of the guys that I am battling for position right now um, more than likely did not have to take tires i know a few of them did not take tires on the last pit stop and if i had not absolutely torched my fronts i, I would have done the same in fact during this stream i was kind of kicking around the idea of not taking tires but it's starting to get to the point in uh the fuel stint that <clears throat> i start noticing that my base of my front tires are, are gone. Um, I'm starting to have to really back up my braking points because if I don't, then I end up sliding through the corners. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and skip forward here in just another moment uh, to the last of the uh interesting and great battles that we had and uh this one's going to be uh with my with my buddy uh kevin uh kevin bridges who is uh currently three spots behind me in the standings um but like i said with the pit stops and the fact that i had to take tires uh that factored into the final position and you can see that I am getting around the uh, seven car here because he made a, a pretty major mistake. Um, and at this point, now that I am by them, um, I actually start putting a little bit of ground on these guys. Uh, I think uh, out in the open, I had the faster lap times of the guys that I was battling. But I was just making too many mistakes, especially late in the race. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, here in a couple of minutes, we'll go ahead and skip forward to the final moments of the race. All right, guys, so we've got about 15 or 20 minutes remaining and the last pit cycle has just finished up. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I had to take tires uh, because I had burned mine up. And so that put me back in uh, a few spots back from where I was when I when I pitted. But we now have uh, my friend Kevin Bridges directly in front of me and like i said with the last 15 to 20 minutes remaining uh he and i had a pretty good battle uh there were a few opportunities where i could have passed him as he was letting a faster car by uh but i would rather race him and try to pass him cleanly not on the coattails of a faster car. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and mute up my mic one last time here in just a moment. Let you guys watch uh, this battle with Kevin for the last few minutes. 
and uh, the battle kind of ends with unceremoniously with me getting a slowdown in that corner back there and that's when I completely lose touch with Kevin in the last couple of laps uh, but once again I did want to say if you found yourself enjoying iRacing I would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and if you have not yet subscribed I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel as well as they both help me out let me know you guys want to see more of this kind of content and for now, um, I'm going to let you go ahead and watch this, and I will talk to you all next time.